Subject 1VXA1. Culture looks healthy. Closely watching the calcium buildup. But for the next trial... Papa! What are... What are you doing here? I went to your place. I thought I was picking Orson up to take him to school. But he wasn't there. I was waiting there, scared to death. I took him to school. I told you. I don't want you around him right now. Is this because of what happened with Haugen? I'm sorry. I, I didn't want you to get involved. I Well, I am involved. And now I got a target on my back for a crime you may have committed. And honestly, Papa, you haven't done much to convince me otherwise. Who will watch him while you're working? I'll figure something out. But it won't involve you. I know you're angry, but I'm angry too. What do you want from me? An apology. Is that so hard? <laughs> so now you decide to grow a backbone. You can still be angry with me. But it's not right to keep my grandson from me. Fine. You can see him. Just go. Just go. Before I change my mind. Do the ritual as soon as possible. It's getting worse. Have you decided who will be helping you perform the ritual? Eric, will you do it? Rachel, are you sure? I don't even know what I'm doing. I can teach you. Please, Eric. There's no one I trust more in this world than you. <sighs> Just tell me what to do and I'll be with you the whole way, okay? Te amo. Te amo. Now, if that's all, I'd like to speak to Rachel alone. Rachel, during our investigation into Joy's death, you seemed uncertain of things. Well, between Joy and the visions, I... Don't be. I spoke with Xavier. He told me your story. You've overcome a lot. You can stop all of this. You are special. I just need you to believe it. Good girl. Now then, tell me more about your daughter. Toby, what are you doing here? I... I wanted to talk to you. About what? I was... I was thinking of joining the Foundation. <laughs> That's bullshit, Toby. We both know it. I'm serious. It's 
what Joy wanted. You're not fucking with me? She left me a message. Told me it's time to leave my old life and make a new one. Even if it hurts. I think you know what that's like. Well, if Rachel wasn't so busy, I'd have you meet with her, but... What's going on? She's feeling the pressure over some big ritual she has to do. Ritual? Yeah. They don't tell me much. When's it happening? Tomorrow night. Late, I think. Thanks, man. Wait, where are you going? I'm sure you'll hear about it. Eric, the Foundation. This never-ending goddamn fog. wrong oh shit it's not like you've never seen this before remember no 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 you were too drunk to even help me what do you want from me answers justice blood <laughs> It should come to no surprise that we found puncture marks on your wife's body. The syringe Astrid turned over to us had traces of morphine. I spoke with Ingrid's doctor. She was never prescribed morphine. How did you get it, Carl? Did you steal it from the hospital? Your daughter's lab? I've told you all I can remember. That's the truth. The truth is you murdered your wife! And you're not leaving here until you come clean. Sorry to interrupt, but you need to see this. Are you sure? Yes. We checked twice. Hey, Mr. Johansson, you are free to go. How? I... Your wife died of complications from her illness. We have no cause to hold you. I'm free to go? For now. Astri. Hi. I, um... I'm calling about, um... I heard you spoke to Papa. About Mama. Brit? Yeah. Papa told me what happened. I'm sorry. Orson! Stay where Mommy can see. How's Papa doing? Not good. He just kept talking about how it wasn't his fault. So, just a regular day? Passing the blame? Anyway... I wanted to talk to you about a funeral. I know you said... I'm not coming. I told Papa so I wouldn't have to tell you. Brit, you can't do this. I'm not doing anything to anybody. That's the point. Our mother just died, Brit. I know it's hard, but sometimes you need to show up for your family, and not just when you need money. I'm three months sober, asshole. Great. Why don't you bring your sober ass down here, so you can support your broken-hearted father? My sponsor told me to isolate myself from situations like this. So I am. What, are you isolating in jail again? Sorry I'm not as perfect and together as you. Brit, I'm a mess. And if you don't come down here for your father, I will drive to Bergen and show you just how much I fucking lost it! Just... come... home! 
I'll think about it. Orson! Orson! Orson? What the hell is happening? Orson? Killed him. Better it than us. Uh, what? Where are we? Have you seen a little boy? I've seen lots of things. Maybe one of them was a boy. Maybe not. Nothing's as it seems here. What is that? That's Orson's. Maybe he knows where my son is. How do you even know they're human? Here, take this. I... I don't like weapons. You'll need it. What? Am I supposed to club him over the head? What if he knows where my son is? You can go right up and ask for all I care. But I'd bring that if I were you. Wait! We are here to bear witness to our beloved sister Rachel, who has come to spill her blood, not just for those gathered here, but for the sake of all in this town. The withering ends tonight. Now, do you have anything to say before we begin? I... I still don't know why Joy died, but my doubts... My lack of faith have put us all at risk, so tonight, I submit myself to the Purifier's cleansing judgment. Are you ready to begin? Yes. You know what happens if the Purifier judges you unfavorably? I do. Then who have you chosen to perform the ritual? I ask my fellow acolyte, Krista. Is this? He cannot be here! Rachel! You lying bitch! I know you're not telling me the truth about Joy's death! Why did you kill her? Tell me! I don't know. Stop lying to me! Give me back. 
back my son. Your son? Give him back! Ow! What the hell, lady? What the hell, lady? I'm trying to help this kid find his mother and you just hit me over the head? Orson... I found him wandering by the docks an hour ago. An hour? He was just here. You didn't even know he was missing? There was... a man in the fog. You're a Johansson, aren't you? I know about you and your family. I called child services. Wait, what? You were gone a while. Mama? Are you mad at me? It was just a game. No, Angel. I'm not mad. Anyway, I'm sure they'll contact you. Given your family's history, I suggest you tell them what they need to hear. I lost my ball. That's okay, Angel. I'll get you a new one. Are they gonna come take me away? No, sweetheart. I will never let that happen. Answers. Justice. Blood. I tried that, remember? You know what? I'm done. You were always a pain in my ass. When you got hooked on that shit, I was glad. I wanted you to OD. The Foundation did me a fucking favor killing you off. Well? Hello, Toby. No. Stay away from me! Stay away from me! So sorry I'm late. Another client went over our time. Oh, you must be... Aurora, from the Barnavane. <laughs> sorry. I had an image in my mind of what Barnavane a social worker would be. Cold, cryptic, ready to snatch your child because you sneezed funny? <laughs> Something like that. I know there are scary stories about us, but I find openness and kindness yield the best results. Now, can you talk to me about what happened when you lost track of your son? Oh, we were just playing. It was just a game that got out of hand. What kind of game? Um, hide and seek. I was counting with my back turned, and uh, Orson hid outside the area we agreed on. Help me understand. You let your child run off, alone while you intentionally obscured your ability to monitor him. I... Yeah. That's right. I see. Now, about the person who reported the incident. They said you screamed at them, accused them of taking Orson? I was... obviously confused. I saw they had his ball, and... I assumed the worst. May I meet him? Of course. Orson, can you come here, Angel? It's nice to meet you, Orson. I'm Aurora. I... I... I lost my ball. Uh-oh. Well, where could it be? I gave it to Zane, but he lost it. 
That's his imaginary friend. Now I don't have anything to play with. Orson, you have plenty of toys. He really does. Mama said I was bad and took away my toys. She's mean sometimes. <laughs> Orson? Orson, why don't you play close by while Aurora and I finish chatting? Obviously, the Bon Avonet takes child neglect seriously. But I'm not interested in removing a child unless absolutely necessary. I did not neglect my child. I'd like to set a few more meetings to confirm things have settled down for you two. Maybe you can start with a gesture to show that his needs are important to you. He mentioned wanting a new toy. He's always been drawn to my childhood dolls. My mother ridiculed him for it, but I suppose with her gone, there's no harm in it. He has to have some nice memories of her. Maybe a doll that helps him remember her fondly. He's close with my father. Maybe a little hunter. Though I never liked having him around guns. Even toys. I understand you're a scientist. That's a wonderful thing for a child to aspire to. I try not to smother him with my influence. Bad memories from my mother. Oh, it never ends. I'll be in touch soon to set a follow-up. Until then... to be home, huh? So are we ever going to talk about what happened the other night? How did Toby know about the ritual? Mommy, Mommy, you're home! Hi, sweetie. I was scared today, but then I remember the girl in the stone castle. That's good, honey. Remember, the purifier keeps us safe. Really? Go get your PJs on. I'll be in soon. Okay. He said he wanted to join the Foundation, to meet with you, and I fell for it. God, you're so naive sometimes. I guess I wanted it to be true, so we could all, I don't know, be friends again. You know that's never going to happen. Yeah, I know. <sighs> I swear. One day you'll let someone pull on your heartstring so hard they'll rip your whole heart out. I need you to talk to Toby. About what? Get him to back down. Listen to him. Use your friendship to get him to rein it in. If he feels heard, maybe he'll back down. I can give it a try. Don't try. Do it. People are depending on us. Okay. And don't tell him any more stuff about us. About the Foundation. We can't trust him. now. Eva, stop this! If you won't do it, I'll teach myself. Eva, stop! You don't know what it's like to be scared all of the time. I do know. More than you think. But this won't make that feeling go away. Give it back! I can't do that. Oh, Mama, you, everyone is just the same. Fa! 
barn ta det. Please, don't shoot. Mette? I'm I'm sorry about the window. I thought you still had a spare key by there. Uh, could you? Oh. May I come in? Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm a bit out of sorts. Tell me everything. <laughs> 